So now once I've established this color with my hue saturation, then I can go ahead and uh, start hitting all this stuff with it. And again, I'm maybe I want to make her skirt um, look like it's made out of some sort of shiny material. So I can just hit that with the pencil uh, set to white. And same thing with the gloves here. And I don't like that, so I'm just going to get rid of that. In here, same thing. I'm going to, since this is the same color as this stocking here, I can just sample that color, and there you go. some highlights here then again if I want I can go in with my pencil tool and you know maybe make things shiny or maybe not same thing for the hair now the hair you definitely want to have some sort of a shine to it just because it is hair and you know hair usually looks best so I'll make one layer of cuts here and then maybe uh, another sort of blobby shape there and I could either go all the way white but I think that's too much so I'll lighten it and saturate it a little bit And that works good for me. And you don't always have to be super precise with uh, these cuts. You know, sometimes it's just enough to indicate that there's a direction change in something. You know, the light's hitting it here, it's turning away, it's coming back into the light there. And I said it in the other tutorial, and I said it here, but it's very important to keep zooming out when you're coloring this stuff, just so you have an idea of what your overall piece looks like. You know, you do something, and you want to get a good look at it. Make sure uh, that you haven't gone overboard, or you haven't concentrated too much on one area, and you know, neglected everything else. So that's why I'm constantly going back and forth with this. This is fairly uh, basic. You know, you can add two or three levels of cuts if you want to this to more tones but for me um, 
with you know production schedules being what they are and stuff usually if you can come up with something that looks good that's you know quick that you know you can get uh, done in you know your allotted time and you're better off um, you know most people who work in coloring have at least you know most of us at one time or another have come up with something we thought was a really cool idea and you know like oh this is going to be great so you, you think of this really sort of complex way of doing something and then the book's late you know um, say so you, you get pages in and you instead of having the two weeks you thought you were going to have you have three days so all that stuff that you did that was really cool and seemed like the best idea in the world is working against you and uh, you know I'm not advocating you know being a hack or anything like that and just uh, you know not taking pride in what you do but you do have to keep in mind that you're not going to always have forever. You know, um, I, in an ideal world, I'd be able to spend, you know, five or six hours on a page. But, you know, um, most of the time, two hours is the most I can spend on a page. The absolute, you know, maximum. So that it's definitely another thing to uh, to keep in mind and also just practice will make um, things faster and sometimes those styles that you do come up with that are too complex uh, to do on a tight deadline if you keep working at them and working at them they become uh, almost committed to muscle memory or something like that and you're able to do them in those tight uh, confines of a deadline but you know um, it's really important to know your limitations and uh, you know and work in a style that you can keep up with the um, pace of production and deadlines and stuff because though to me um, that's really at the end of the day all you have to hang your hat on is your professionalism and uh, you know how good you are at actually making deadlines uh, yeah anybody could spend um, you know forever and make something look good while blowing uh, you know all their deadlines but the the real professionals out there and the top you know people who I look up to not only um, have the skills but they are also uh, consistently you know uh, hitting deadlines turning things in on time not holding up production and all that um, you know we're last in line as colorists um, you know as far as getting the work in our hands goes so it's really important um, to to not let your editors down uh you know really not let the people who buy the comics down uh, you know it uh it's uh, yeah it's really um you know it's kind of a big deal when a company has to reschedule its uh you know time at the printer because you weren't able to get your stuff done in a reasonable amount of time. And there's our finished piece. I'll get a closer look at everything. Um, you know, it was took probably this probably took me longer than I would have liked it to, but um, you know, it 
got to work out a little bit of that rust and get back into doing doing the style but um like always if you have any questions please post them in the comment section i will get back to you as soon as possible um i hope you this was helpful to you and uh, i'll be posting more tutorials soon thank you